To understand exposure, we can use a tap analogy. We'll need to capture the light to record the image. In this example, the container will be the camera's sensor. Light is like the water. Light enters the lens opening. The tap represents the shutter speed mechanism. The shutter opens and light flows onto the sensor. Light fills the sensor to the optimum fill line. The light meter indicator is our guide. When the light meter indicator is on zero, we have good exposure. Our image is overexposed or too bright if the shutter is open too long. Our lens has a flow regulator so that we don't pass the fill line. This is called the aperture. The aperture controls the rate of flow of light. This aperture is too big for such a long shutter speed. The aperture size is decreased to slow the rate of flow. Now the shutter can be left open without overexposure. For a deep depth of field, we might choose a very small aperture. Light flow is reduced to a trickle and can cause underexposure where the image is too dark. We could open the shutter longer to let in more light. If a long shutter is not an option, then we still have underexposure. We can gain light quicker by increasing the ISO setting. The sensor fills quicker, so not as much light is needed to reach the fill line. 